Did you know that posting at the wrong time on YouTube could be the reason that you're not getting the views that you want or the subscribers that your competitors are getting? Because if you're posting at the wrong time, the wrong people are gonna see your post initially. You're not gonna get the click-through rate that you need, the swipe rate that you need, or the average view duration that you need. And quite frankly, your content's gonna be shown to the wrong person because YouTube is gonna be forced to show your content to the wrong person. I mean, think about it. If you upload and none of your ideal audience is online, YouTube has to show that piece of content to somebody. They can't just stick you at zero views so that's what ends up happening. They show your content to the wrong audience and boom, now you're not getting the views that your competitors are getting or that you thought you should get. And all you have to do is adapt to the three new best times to be posting on YouTube. And the last one I'm gonna share with you is by far the best. In fact, you should be testing all three of these to make sure that you're actually posting for the ideal time for the audience that you're trying to reach. In fact, this creator right here just changed the times that they were posting and was able to gain over 300,000 subscribers. And now they make a full-time living from their YouTube channel. And this creator was able to do the same thing, except they gain over 500,000 subscribers. And the same exact thing can happen to you so long as you adapt the times that you're posting. The first time that you need to be posting it, it's going to be 1 p.m. Now, when I say 1 p.m., this needs to be 1 p.m. for your viewers. It shouldn't be 1 p.m. where you are. It needs to be 1 p.m. where your ideal viewers are or where most of your viewers are. If you don't know how to figure this out, here's how you do it. But that's not the only time that you need to make sure that you're testing. In fact, there are two more, but before I share them with you, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you wanna grow quicker on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok, literally I upload a video every single day about how to grow on these platforms. In addition to that, I just created a free YouTube growth course. You can get the pinned comment below. It's gonna share with you things like the best hashtags to use in your posts and exactly how the YouTube algorithm works because that has recently updated. So what are you waiting for? Go to that pinned comment below, register right now to get in it for free. So in order to see when your ideal viewer is online, here's what you need to make sure that you're doing. You need to make sure that you come into your analytics over here. You wanna come into your audience. And then what's going to show once this loads, if you scroll down a little bit, it is going to show you a few different things. The first one that you're gonna be able to see is right here, when your viewers are on YouTube. Essentially what you wanna be doing is you wanna be looking at when very many of your viewers are on YouTube. And it might not show this for every single day. That just means that you haven't uploaded a good video in these days in the last Last few days or the last few weeks, which could be the case with me. But essentially what this is showing me is 10 a.m. for Sunday. And then on Saturday, it's also showing 10 a.m. So I can stick to 10 a.m. as when very many of my viewers are online. Another thing that you might find is that you might have a very many viewers and then not and then very many viewers again, you wanna make sure that the time that you're posting is when the majority of it is. So if you have one bar up here, then post at that. If you have no bars down here, don't post at that time. In addition, you wanna make sure that you're coming down here and seeing the top geographies from which people are viewing your content. And whichever one is the top up here, that is the one that you wanna be posting for the time slot that's shown for that specific time zone. Because doing this is going to push your content at the ideal time to the ideal audience so that you get the ideal response, ATA, you get more views, you get more subscribers, and you make more money. Now the second best time that you need to be posting at is going to be 7 p.m. Now you need to remember something. This isn't the best time. The last time someone wanna share with you is the best time. What you wanna make sure of is that at 7 p.m. that you post and then you get off of YouTube. You do not wanna post and then stay up all night because hey, I wanna see how my video did. If you're going to post at this time slot, I strongly suggest that you do this and no, this isn't gonna help you get more views on YouTube. It's simply gonna help you sleep a little bit better. It's gonna help ease some of your anxiety. You should post and you should get off of YouTube. Don't check it until the morning. You could be surprised in the morning or you might be upset in the morning, but if you do get upset, all that should be doing is motivating you to make a much better YouTube video that day. Here's the deal. Before I share with you the last and best time that you need to be posting it, I need to make sure that you're not making three mistakes that I see almost every single beginner YouTuber making. And if you haven't done these three things or you're still making these three mistakes, well, guess what? it's probably the reason you're not getting views. In fact, you might be posting at the right times, but doing these things wrong is going to destroy your reach. The first thing that you need to make sure that you've done or that you're doing is you need to come to youtube.com and slash verify. And you need to make sure that this is verified right here. If this isn't verified, it's going to destroy the reach that you're getting and you are not going to get the views that you want to be getting. On top of that, you need to make sure that you have channel tags set up. Essentially what you need to do is come under channel here. You're going to see a bunch of different keywords. What I would suggest that you do, 
whatever the top search terms that you want to be able to rank for, you should be putting them in here. In addition, you should put a few different competitors in here. And what this is going to do is help YouTube better know exactly who they should be putting. And this is going to help YouTube better know exactly who they should be showing your content to. On top of that, if you come under content here and you've uploaded a video, for example, I did this video about the latest YouTube algorithm change just a day or two ago. When you scroll down, when you are uploading a video, I won't be able to do this right now because I've already uploaded this piece of content, but you want to make sure that this right here, publish to subscription feed and notify subscribers, you want to try posting sometimes without having this checked. You want to know why that you should be doing that? Because if you're not doing that correctly, essentially what's going to end up happening is your content could be getting shown to subscribers that subscribe to you that are into different types of content. And this actually happens on my channel all the time, except for when I post YouTube content, because I post about how to grow on YouTube, how to grow on Instagram, how to grow on TikTok. So guess what? People that want to grow on TikTok don't want to know about growing on YouTube or Instagram. You would think that they do, but that's not actually how that works. So what I need to do is I need to unclick that box so that YouTube actually shows my content to the right people. Because if I don't do that, my content doesn't get shown to the right people. And boom, I end up getting less views than I should have actually gotten. And by the way, I actually do have a video about exactly how you should upload a video on YouTube that I just published recently a few weeks ago. You can watch this right here. I'm going to click into this right here, but essentially this is how to correctly upload videos on YouTube in order to get more views. It shows you a bunch of different settings in addition to the settings that I just shared with you. And the last and most important thing that we need to cover, I need to find this here. I don't know where it's going to be. Um, earn. No, it's not under here. It's going to be under video here promotions. You should never, 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 never use this right here. In fact, YouTube probably isn't going to like that. I'm telling you not to use this, but you never want to do this. It will get you more views. Yes, it will get you more subscribers. Yes, and there are a bunch of other websites out there that tell you that they're gonna get you more YouTube views and more subscribers. If you are paying for that and then it directly gives you views and subscribers, that is a scam. It is not helping you get the views or subscribers that you want. It's not going to help you get monetized. In fact, it's going to ruin your YouTube channel. It's gonna make it really, really hard for you to be able to grow on YouTube. The only thing that you should ever do if you're going to pay for something is pay for somebody to consult with you to tell you what you need to be doing differently. And essentially, you just need to make better content on YouTube. That is the only way you're gonna get more views, you're going to get more subscribers, not by paying for it, anything that you have to pay for that tells you that they're going to promote your channel or get you more views instantly or get views on a specific video, I would not do that. The only thing I would ever pay for is consulting, or coaching, or a course that is going to tell you things that you need to do differently in your videos. Not, hey, here's this crap video and we're going to buy a bunch of fake views on it. Now this brings me to the final and best time to be uploading on YouTube and that's going to be 11 a.m. Now from here, I personally want to help you grow quicker on YouTube. In fact, I want to help you increase the views you're getting and increase the subscribers you're getting just like I helped this creator gain over 300,000 subscribers and get monetized and this creator over 500,000. If you want results like that and you want to be able to make a full-time living from YouTube, I personally want to help you. In fact, I want to tell you exactly what you should be posting, what time to post, what hashtags to use, and I want to look at your content content and critique it. If you want to work with me personally to grow quicker on YouTube and get monetized faster, well please keep watching this video because I've got a special offer for you. The opportunity to grow on YouTube and this organic reach we're currently seeing is not going to last forever. And there are two things holding you back right now. The first one is that you haven't implemented everything that I just shared with you in this video. And the second is that you haven't gotten into my YouTube mentorship program yet, which literally is going to guarantee that I help you get more subscribers on YouTube in the next 30 days, or you get your money back zero questions asked. In fact, the average person that's gone through this program in the last 30 days has gained over 31,000 subscribers. And the lowest amount of subscribers anybody has ever gained is a thousand subscribers if they implement everything that I share with them in this video. If you want results like that, please go to the link in the description below and sign up right now. Because if you're still watching this video, I'm going to guess that you're above average. So the odds of you getting over 31,000 subscribers is probably quite high. And if you don't remember, you need a thousand subscribers in order to get monetized on YouTube. So this is a perfect opportunity for you to make more money from YouTube and for you to set yourself up to become a full-time YouTuber. In fact, I'm going to tell you exactly what to post, when to post, 
what hashtags use again to guarantee that you get more subscribers on YouTube. If you don't get more subscribers in the next 30 days, I will give you your money back zero questions asked. And it doesn't matter what your background is or what your niche is. This program is designed to help you get more subscribers faster and easier. Ultimately, it's going to get you more subscribers or your money back. This creator just went through it and gained over 100,000 subscribers. This creator, over 150,000 subscribers. And this creator, over 400,000 subscribers. And I want you to be my next success story. And I want you to be the next person that makes a full-time living from YouTube. So please go to the link in the description below, sign up right now. You literally have absolutely nothing to lose. You're gonna get more subscribers or you're gonna get your money back. If you're not interested in those two things, please watch the next two videos I put up on the screen because they're the videos YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.